Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to episode 7 today and we are playing Hamburg in the second leg of the first knockout round of the Europa League. We were meant to come back to the first leg, however I thought it made sense to come back to the second leg because then we then know, well you then know straight away if we have qualified for the next round. Since we last year we played quite a few games, um, we played Chelsea last, 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Since then we beat Hull 2-1 in FA Cup third round, we filled a, a whole team of reserves effectively. And we've done alright to be fair. We then played Tottenham away, we lost 4 3. Alexis Salmaker has been Falami and Joel Afonso with the goals. Um, we then played Man City at home, won 3 2. Very, very decent performance. Um, Casey Palmer, Joel Afonso, Ben Falami with the goals. We then played Wolves away and lost 2 1. Joel Afonso again with our only goal. Um, Cardiff would be 4 1 at home. Ben Falami, Conrad Lamar, Dirk Proper, and Joel Afonso with the goals. We then beat Leeds away 4 2. Richard Awusu, a um, product from our youth uh, intake, I think last season, scored his first goal for the club. Ben Falami, Joel Afonso, and Herbie Kane also on the score sheet. And then Herbie Kane scored the winning goal against Hamburg in the first leg at Portman Road. Take this into today's game 1 0 up. Um, by, this is by, by no means finished, yes, on the away to Hamburg. It's going to be in for a very, very tricky tie. Then played Brighton most recently at home, lost 2 0. Um, not very good, is it really? Losing Brighton. We did field a, a weaker side, played a lot of our, our younger players, so it's a bit of experience for them. It didn't work out in the end, unfortunately. So today we're playing Hamburger in the second leg, the first round of the Europa League knockout to decide if we get into the second round. We have just done the, chan the January transfer window. If we have a look at the transfer history, I don't think we've made a whole lot of changes, if I'm honest. Um, let's go into transfer history. We brought in Connor Goldson on loan from Manchester United. He's a centre back, defensive midfielder. Um, our deal cover for Herbie Kane really has been down, so has not been doing very well. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to look to sign him. I mean, £29,000 a week, it's not bad wages, and valued at £23 million, so he's a decent player. So we could bring him in, but we'll see how he gets on the loan first. As far as players going out, we've sent a few players out on the loan. Um, a few of the young players. Bielkowski was finally sold into Leicester, £115,000. Loreiro sent out on loan to Bristol City um, because we've got Goldson in. Um, Loreiro, he's one of our younger players we brought in towards the beginning of the series and um, he's not been playing quite as much to help his development, so that's one of the reasons I want to loan him out. Conor McKendry's been loaned out, we're going to look to sell him anyway. And Lee Dent has also been loaned out to Bradford City, one of our younger players. Hopefully he can get some experience and improve on his time on loan. Um, since then, I have changed the tactics again. Um, I'm not doing the different mentalities now, I'm literally just sticking with the, the, my um, 4 4 2 diamond and start on positive and then switch some mentality, and that is it. I'm not going to keep changing all the roles and positions. Um, I think the tactic worked well, considering we're at the bottom of the, the salary. If we go on the competitions, I'll quickly show you anyway. Um, competitions, yeah, we are seventh in the league at the moment. Uh, two points by Manchester United, the top six have reformed. Hopefully we can still break into that top six, that'd be brilliant. But as long as we finish seventh and get the Europa League in, I'll be very happy. Um, what was I going to do? That's the team stats. So team stats, I'm on, on the getting slow. Team detailed. If we come down to finances, salary per annum, we are bottom of the salary per, salary per annum. Yet we're sixth place. So I think mean, all things considered, the tactic does work well. Obviously, we get some decent wins. We also get some shocking defeats. But I'm, I'm just going to take the rough, the smooth with, the, with that tactic and just go with it. And that's what we're going to use for today against Hamburg. I don't think there's anything else to go over. Um, of course, Merry Christmas. Got my, my Baileys, my, my drink, I'm happy. Got my Christmas hat as well, which I put on. Dun, dun. Yeah, we go, boy. Get, keep the ears out, like an elf. Right, let's crack on to the game. So, starting in goal today, we have Freddie Woodman. Along the back four, we have Empress, Davies, Watmore, and Salmakers with Herbie Kane as a defensive midfielder and ball winning midfielder defence, or support, actually, I think. And Dizel and Lane Master midfield, proper attacking field with Qatar and Falari up front. Hamburger start with Painter and Goal. They've got Sakai, Walter, Kunde, and Wagner, Big Norman on the right hand side with Van Jitic in centre midfield, Holtby and Sal in centre midfield, Kostic on the left, 
Carlos Perez on the right with Morutan up front. Hopefully we can progress into the second round. I'll be absolutely buzzing if we do. Come on! Here we go, the game kicks off. Cal on you blues, cheers, chin chin. Three minutes played. My Bailey's on the go, Bailey's a nice. I was supposed to do this last night, but I got home, I felt, I was, I was like death warmed up. Obviously, man, I still sound rough. If you'd have seen me, I looked atrocious. Um, I got home, and all I wanted to do was have some drinks, watch a couple of films. Um, that's what I did, I watched Avengers 4, or Avengers 3, sorry. I can't wait for Avengers 4. And then I caught The Only Ghost. Lovely film that is, if you are you like a good old classic. But anyway, it's a Kai now. On the left, Marutan whips it in. Jack Baltimore heads it out. He is on a yellow card. Let's just ease him off tackles. Jack Watmore ends up tackles. Come on. Confirm changes. Hopefully this isn't going to be a Hamburg goal here. Sal back into Perez. So we are going to, going to change the uh, mentality as well. Oh, after this bit of play, we can't change it now. Jan Jicic, out wide. Out wide, out wide to Bag Norman. Bag Norman, Perez, Holtby. Spoiler post, stays nil nil. We've escaped there. Let's just, um, right, let's get a shout in quickly. Demand more, and then we'll just change mentality to we'll go defensive. I think as we are away, we are defending, of course, the one nil lead. Hopefully, that'll make a difference. 15 minutes played. Next highlight now, pain with a goal kick, big kick forward. When Davies comes across, when ahead of it, and he goes as Kostic, Kostic come forward now. Good tackle by Salmakers, Empis has the ball. Empis to Qatar, Jabby Qatar. Come on, boy. Back to Empis. 15 minutes play, come on, Empis, inside to Dizel. No doubt has been playing better than Dizel this season, but I'm, I'm sticking with Dizel because he has created more opportunities um, despite not playing as well as No I think No is more of an all round sort of um, workhorse really. Sal makes with the ball in there for Falami. Get in! 1 0. 2 0 up on aggregate. Falami puts us ahead. 15 minutes played. Falami's back in beast mode this year. Absolutely loving it. Next highlight Sal. Centre midfield. Comes down to Perez. Perez comes inside. His left foot. Sal makes wins the ball back. Go on. Sal makes marching forward. Falami. Get in there, son. And Guitar. Salmak is still coming unchallenged. Puts a ball in back post. Jack of guitar. Yes, 2 0. 3 0 up on aggregate. Surely qualification to the next round has got to be sealed now. Next highlight Salmak is on the left hand side with a free kick. Whoops it in. Is that goal? No. Pain of saves. It stays 2 0. And we're nearly at half time now. Let's just do another shout. Final shout of the half. See us through. It looks like this game's dead and buried now. Big goal kick. Dizel, very deep there. Plays a ball forward, tries to find Fulani, but intercepted by Sakai. Came into back there to Proper. Proper holds it out, back to Lama. Lama inside to Dizel. Dizel to Proper. Come on, out wide to Soundmakers. Soundmakers, decent, decent signing this year. Guy cost us a lot of money, but he's been worth it. Jabby Guitar, is it offside? No, it's not. Get in, 3 0. 4-0 on aggregate now, Jabby Guitar is second goal of the game. Absolutely buzzing guys. Cheers. Half time is here. 3-0. Not bad, not bad. Away to Hamburg. Looks like we're going to the second round of the Europa League, which is brilliant news. I think our board expectation was the first knockout round. So we've already achieved that expectation to we can progress as far as we can. Clearly that's what we want to do. Um I think I said in the last episode. Um Quarterfinals, at least, is what I'd like. Semi-finals would be brilliant. Free love here. Falami guitar with double. Put us in a solid lead. Just go dressing room. We'll just calmly tell the boys that they're doing well. We'll keep it going. And we'll also just calmly say, dun, dun, dun. there's a lot more to come from you still. They look happy. Come on, boys. Injury to Lamar here. Um, 52 minutes played. Dazelle's not playing very, very well either at all, really. Um, I think we're going to do Harry, Herbie Harry. Keep saying Harry. Herbie Kane's going to come to box to box, and then we're going to bring on Goldson for his debut as the ball in the field on support. Um, I think he'll, he'll do all right there, to be fair. 
I'm not gonna make another change yet. I'm looking at the Zerg 6.8, proper Zerg 6.7, not done great. In fact, I might take proper off and bring on Palmer as well. So Palmer's, actually we'll leave it for now, we'll leave it, we'll leave it. They're only done seven years in the second half. Quickly give team talk, calmly, um, high faith. Seemed deep in four, but I ain't really, I ain't had a chance to talk to him yet, so we're not got any sort of relationship. That, that will build in a couple of weeks. Next highlight here, Hamburg, thrown on the left, Sakai. Jan Jikic, out wide to Van Norman. Van Norman's got a goal back, a 3-1, 4-1 on aggregate. Yeah, there's no chance they can pull this back, surely. Couldn't be able to then switch our mentality to cautious. Still stay defensive, but just look for a bit more and um, going forward to counter Hamburg as they come at us. Um, ben Davies just got a yellow card. We are just going to quickly ease him off tackles. Dun -dun -dun. Okay, confirm. We are just going to get another shout in as well. Demand more. Come on, boys. 20 minutes left. We're going to make a change now as well, actually. Um, proper. We're going to bring on Palmer for proper. Proper's not done great. Um, to Zell. Also, it's not done fantastic. We're going to bring Noidam on as well. Make our final two changes and then see the game out. I think the game's pretty, pretty much sealed, to be honest. 20 minutes left. Come on. Next highlight, possibly the last. Bag Norman forward to Harrison. That was a funny name. Out left to Sakai. Sakai comes forward. Unchallenged. Out wide to Kostic. Kostic. Referee blows up. There it is. Full time whistle blows. We're in the next round, boys. Come on! Fucking brilliant, sorry. 3-1, uh, Ben Falami, Javi Guitar, double. It was a fairly comfortable result in the end, really. Um, dressing room, I'm just gonna tell the boys that they done well, passionately, of course. And then, um, this episode's not finished yet, we're gonna come back, because I think tomorrow, I'm so we're gonna come back for the draw and just flip through the teams as they come up. See you guys in a bit. So the next round, next knockout round of the Europa League, I've got to be excited and draw all teams straight away. I've got, I forgot the whole bag. My drink's gone now, what do I? So, second round knockout, you've got RB Lipsig home to KA again, Roma at home to Sport and Lisbon, Dortmund at home to Real Sociedad, Milan at home to FC Bayern, um, KRC, KRC Genk at home to Torino, Marseille at home to Lazio, Gladbach at home to Feyenoord, and we have got Sevilla. Sevilla, probably, Third or fourth best team in the out of the, out of the group, group of teams. Um, difficult, difficult fixture for us. The next round is, of course, the quarterfinal, um, which will be drawn on the 11th of March. So, yeah, Sevilla is next up. Let's have a quick look at Sevilla and see how we're getting on in the in La Liga. Um, they're actually 10th place in the league at the moment. That's, they're not doing too good. So, we might be able to pick them off here. That'll be interesting to see what happens. If we go on the schedule, We'll just see where we'll be coming back next. Um, let's see what dun, 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 West Ham, Newcastle next, then West Ham. Dun, 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 dun. Um, I think we'll come back for Newcastle again, to be honest. I'm, I'm recording this game today, Christmas Day, because I have fell behind. Um, I think if I do the Newcastle game, then the. Hmm, I might do the Newcastle game and the West Ham game. And then um, that will sort out tomorrow and the day after. So I've got my little go of those days. So I will not be getting the game then. Um, so we'll do Newcastle West Ham for the next two episodes. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a brilliant Christmas. Drink a lot. Drink a lot. Drink a lot. Eat a lot. The whole lot of it. Just drink a lot. Eat a lot. Cherish every moment. And I hope you have a wicked one, guys. Thanks a lot. See you later.